what is up YouTube? Hope you're having a really good day today wherever you are in this world. My name is Ben and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to be creating a word search interior for you to upload onto Amazon KDP. We're also going to be talking about why you should be publishing these in the lineup for quarter four and if you stay to the end there's going to be a few tips on the keywords you should use. So if you do like videos like this hit the like button for me it helps out more than you think. If you like content like this on self-publishing hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I bring out videos like this one and if you are just getting started with low content publishing or you're not seeing the sales that you are hoping for with low content then go ahead and check out my free two hour tutorial video here on my youtube channel this basically goes through the a to z of the basics on how to publish your first few low content books and how to make your first few sales so if that's going to be interesting to you hit the link in the top right hand side of this video but without further ado guys let's jump straight into this video so for anyone who doesn't know, essentially a word search is a puzzle where you get a grid of letters looking something like this and in that you have to find the words that are listed here within this grid. Um, so for example, I already do see one. Um, if you look at this word cottonwood here, for example, um, and you just followed my cursor, you can see that cottonwood is actually hidden there from left to right cottonwood so uh, if I was doing this word search puzzle I would just cross that off and then cross off the word here and to complete this puzzle all you have to do is find these words within this word search puzzle so it's a very simple puzzle and it is loved by millions of people worldwide so now let's head over to Amazon just to show you how, what these word search books look like so if we just type it in here at the top which I have done you can see that there's plenty of word search books here on Amazon a lot of them doing really well so um, these ranks here are an indicator to us to show us how well this book is selling this rank of 1414 here is extremely good um, so this is 500 word search puzzles um, and there's plenty of books with tons of reviews that are also doing extremely well. If we do a keyword search on one of these word search books, you can see that word search for adults is the top uh, keyword here with really high search volume. So that's 21,272 searches a month for this keyword um, and a Cerebro IQ score of 2,127. So, so the supply versus demand there is looking very, very good. Obviously, the higher the Cerebro IQ score, the better. So we can tell that this is actually a very good keyword to be publishing in. Um, there's all obviously a lot of ways you can niche down with the word searches as well. A couple of examples would be this large print one here, for example. So a lot of elderly people do love these word search books and putting it in large print appeals to elderly people who may be short sighted. Uh, so that's one way you can niche down with the word search. There's another one, large print word find book. So another way you can niche down as well is by actually editing the difficulty of the word searches, which I will be showing you in a little bit when we come to create the word search. Um, but essentially you can make it really, really difficult if you want to. So it can appeal to, you know, hardcore puzzlers who are looking for a challenge, or you can make it really easy. So you can make the grid really small, hide just a few words in there. So it can appeal to younger children, for example. Another way you can niche down as well is by giving it a theme. So themed word searches are doing extremely well. So if I just get rid of this bit here and I just do 1950s, which I know is a very good theme for word searches that is doing very well. You can see that if we scroll down, um, there are a lot of 1950s word search books which are doing really well. Uh, we can see that the ranks here are good. 35,008 reviews there and this was published a month and a half ago so a very very good niche here this one 1466 a very very good rank is a bestseller as well uh, and this one was published in 2021 there so i could ramble on and on but i think you guys get the picture word searches are a lucrative place to be in especially for this quarter four period and i've shown you a few ways you can niche down with the word search so now in this part i'm going to be showing you step by step how to go about making the word searches ready to publish onto Amazon KDP. So step number one is to be going onto Canva and creating a blank canvas for your interior. So we're just gonna go onto Canva. If you don't already have Canva, down, uh, search it online it's absolutely free you can get a pro version but you don't even need it to make these word searches um, and once you've signed in created a, and once you've created an account you should get a home page that looks like this all you're going to do is create a design in the top right hand side 
here and then we're going to press custom size so i'm just going to move my face so you can see that um, create a design custom size here and all our word search books are going to be 8.5 by 11 inches um, and that is the one that sells the best continuously so 8.5 by 11 inches um, create a new design and you're going to get a blank canvas that looks like this now this bit here is the major key so pay attention what we're going to do is we're going to go on to elements and we're going to search grids now once you search grid you're going to select this one here and you're going to well actually you're just going to resize it so that it's roughly seven by seven here so let's move that up and let's stretch that out there we go so now the width and the height are the same so it's a perfect square we're just going to center that here in fact let's make it a tiny bit smaller uh 6.5 there we go so we're just going to place that here and now that is a template for us to be dragging the word searches onto so now we've got this we're going to open another window uh, so this is word search world griddler i'll leave the link for this website in the description below um, basically it's an online word search creator for free they say that down here as well this website is free for you to use partly as a result of the support we receive from our website sponsors so you can go ahead and use it for free online word search creator is here on this tab and you'll get this interface here so um, i'm going to just show you the settings that we're going to use to create our word search book um, so these are the default settings. However, we're going to be making a word search book for adults in this video as a tutorial, just because that was the one with the highest search volume and a very good supply and demand ratio there. So in that instance, we're going to be editing these basic settings here to show 18 by 18 for the size of the grids. You can change this a little bit um, depending on your niche. If you choose a themed one or if you're making it large print, for example, um, but 18 by 18 is a good middle to ground to go to for a word search book for adults. Um, so 18 by 18 there, and we're going to be coming up with around 20 words to find per word search puzzle. So we need a list of 20 words to put here. Now to come up with words for this word search puzzle, we're going to be using a site called word, Random Word Generator. So if we go on their website, they will generate us random words for us to use in our word search. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just change the number of words to 40. So two times 20, you'll see why in a second. We're going to change this word size by greater than four. So if this default setting is different, then change this to greater than four. And what that will do is it will generate words with four letters or more in them. So once that's complete, you're going to generate random words here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the whole list of words that they have given us press copy and then open an Excel here. So we're just gonna open an Excel graph. Um, I messed up this first one here, so we're just gonna delete everything there. And we're just gonna paste these new words in. So now we have a list of our words here in an Excel graph. And now what that does, it saves us from having to count 20 at a time. You just go until this list says 20 we're going to copy this first 20 list here and we're just going to paste it straight into our word search generator just here so once that is done we want to now edit the word directions now this will give us our difficulty here as well so the more directions the words can be hidden in the more difficult it is so as a kind of middle ground again i like to click these five here for the typical puzzle if you want it to be more difficult then you can just click all eight and if you want it to be easier then you want to unclick all of these ones here like that um, but just for the purposes of this video we're going to make it moderately difficult so we're going to hide it in these five directions there we're going to change the advanced solution settings as well so that's in gray and this one's in very dark gray and what we're going to do is just press generate word search down here now, as you can see, the puzzle was created successfully. 20 out of 20 words were used. You want to look out for that because sometimes they can't fit all the words in and it will say so there um, by saying 19 out of 20 words used or 18 out of 20. And in that case, you need to change up the words. But in this case, it was created successfully, 20 out of 20 words used. So once that is done, we're just going to press this download puzzle image here and then download solution image there. And we're gonna go back onto our Canva sheet now. So once we go back onto Canva, all we need to do 
is just drag the PNG uh, and then once it's loaded into our uploads there, we can just drag it straight onto our grid here and you've got your word search just chilling there. So now you can see that we've got a word search page. Now this is obviously not complete. We still need to add the word list. So to do that, we're just going to go onto text here, click add a heading. So now we're just going to head back onto Excel with our list of words. We're going to copy again the first 20. So the first 20 is still copied here. So we're just going to copy that again. And we're going to go back onto Canva and then just paste it in that text box that we have created. So now we've got this here. We just want to align that to the left and we want to make that smaller. I'd say around 14 to 16 font is good. I'm going to do 14 this one. Um, and what we want to do now is copy and paste this text box three times because obviously this whole list of words isn't going to fit in one text box underneath this word search here. So it has to be partitioned kind of like this. Uh, we're going to put the second text box right in the middle there and the first one on the right just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep seven words in this left one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just delete the rest in that list. And from cute onwards, we're going to keep that one in the second text box and then get rid of the rest. And very finally, if I move my face so you can see, we're going to get rid of everything up to give on this one. And then the final six words are there for people to find. So that's our word list. That's how we do the word list there. If we scroll back out, you can see that our word search is starting to come together now. Now, what we do also want to do is give the word search a title. Uh, this is, you don't have to do it, but it just looks nice. So normally I just give them a nice number at the top. So this is word search number one. And in this book, let's say if we have a hundred, then we can just number it from one to a hundred as we go along. Now, the nice thing about this as well is now we have a template for the word search as well. So what we want to do is just press duplicate here. Uh, Change is one to a two on this one. And we can go back onto our Excel and use the second lot of words in this list here. So we can go up to 40 there. We can go back onto our word search generator. Generate the word search. Simple as that. Download the puzzle image. Download the solution image. And go back onto our Canva. You can see that with our puzzle that we've just generated, again, upload it onto Canva. And you can just drag it straight onto this old word search here and it will update automatically. So that's why I suggested having the grid there. You can literally just drag this word search on and it gets replaced every single time. So you can see the word search for number one is looking different than for number two. And again, with these word lists here, you're just going to go back onto Excel, copy and then paste and then do exactly the same. So seven words in this first one here. So there you go. We've got two complete word searches there. Now, of course, we've run out of words from the Excel. So now all we're going to do is go back to the random word generator, generate some more random words, copy and paste these all into Excel as well, and then just repeat the process until we have around a hundred word searches. And that's how simple it is to create a word search. Now, also we need to do the solutions page as well. So obviously people are going to want to check if they're struggling or to see if they got it right, for example. So for the solutions, what I always do is I have a solutions page that looks like this. So we just get rid of the word list, the title, and we're going to make this grid a little bit smaller. So if we get rid of that word search there, just so it's a generic grid again, and we're going to make it like this. And now we can just copy and paste this so that we have six grids arranged nicely on a page. So let's squeeze this one on here. Now, of course, you want to make sure that all of these fit within the margins given from KDP as well. I'm not using the template just for simpleness, but you're going to want to use the template to make sure that all the elements within inside your book fall inside of the margins. Um, so make sure that's the case, but right now this is looking fine. Maybe you want to make it slightly smaller so it all fits. Um, but generally that is how I would arrange it. And now for the solutions, we're just going to upload them here once again. 
once they're loaded onto Canva, you're just going to want to put, drag them onto the grids that you've just made. So this there is solution number one, solution number two, and so on and so forth. So you're going to want to make sure the solutions there are in order. In fact, what we can do as well is just drag the numbers down here so that people can identify the solution. Let's give it a paste. So this one here is solution number one. This one here is number two. So of course, once you've numbered all of them, then you're just gonna fill in the solutions here uh, up until the first six, where you're gonna have to duplicate this page and then continue on with the next six. So word search is seven to 12. The solutions will be on that one and so on and so on. So that's the basic premise of making a word search puzzle book in Canva. So I always recommend at least a hundred word searches in an adult word search puzzle book, uh, meaning that you're going to need to do two canvas for it. So Canva one can only hold up to a hundred pages and then Canva two can have your answers on it, for example, and then just combine the PDFs afterwards to create your final manuscript for Amazon KDP. Um, but hopefully this is a nice demonstration for you. This is the method that I use if I want to create a generic word search, not based on themes. If I do want themes like the 1950s word search book that I showed you before, then it is going to take some more research in order to make that word search because obviously you're going to need to curate a list of words. So let's say if I wanted to do a Christmas themed one, then again, I can go on this word list site. Um, by now, if you see my other videos, you know, I'm a big fan of this site because it just gives me uh, ideas to brainstorm with. Um, but essentially, they give you a list here of Christmas related words. So in this instance here, for example, I can group words into things like uh, foods eaten at Christmas. So candy cane there, uh, chestnuts there, um, cider, cookie, and things like that. And then maybe um, decorations at Christmas, so Christmas tree, tinsel, baubles, candles, and stuff like that. And that's how I'd use this site to create a themed word search. But all in all, it does take longer. And if you don't have the time, then I thoroughly recommend Fiverr because it will save you a lot of time for not that much cost. Um, and another thing I wanted to note as well, that although I believe this is commercial, uh, this website is for commercial use, if they do ever change their policy at any point, then just know that there are alternatives as well. Of course, there's a good one here called Word Search Generator on the Microsoft Store. So if you have a Windows PC, you can get this one for absolutely free and it does pretty much the same thing. I'm afraid it is only for Windows though. So if you have a Mac, uh, the Mac, I believe, don't have a replacement for this. Um, but there is um, another one called Whirlwind Word Search, which you can get on the App Store for Mac. Uh, this cost me 20 pounds, but it's very, very good. Very fluid and there's a lot more customizability. Uh, and yeah, it's generally worth it as well. So um, if you are on Mac and that website becomes unavailable, uh, then you can use this one here, which is also very good. Um, and just the last note, it's my golden tip on the keywords. Um, essentially, that is that um, sometimes you'll see on Amazon that there will be books with this. So word search in two words. So with a space in the middle word space search. But then sometimes as well, you'll see that it's spelt like this. So as one word, so without a space between word and search. So if I do this, for example, 1950s word search with word search being one word, you'll notice the search results are actually going to be different compared to the other ones. So in this instance, for example, we have, you know, um, this product here at the top. But then if we put a space in the middle there and search again, you'll notice that actually the search results are completely different. We've got a different sponsored search there. Um, so word search in one word and word search as two words show up two different results. And therefore, if you are going to publish a word search book, ensure that word search spelt like this and word search spelt like this come up in your title and subtitle to ensure the maximum reach for your book. So that is my golden tip there. Uh, and that pretty much sums up this video. So I hope it has been super helpful for you. Hopefully you consider liking and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, thank you for getting this far. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.